Today we'll show you how to download and install the Garment Creator 2 software for the Epson F2270 Dual DTG and DTF printer. After setting up the printer, download the driver and Garment Creator 2 software. Go to Epson.com and search for the Epson F2270 printer, then click Support. Once on the F2270 support page, select the Downloads tab and download the driver, Garment Creator 2, and the Epson Edge dashboard. You can connect the printer to the computer by either USB or Ethernet. Today we'll show you how to connect with USB. Once the files are downloaded, go to your Downloads folder, right-click on File, and select Run as Administrator. Follow the prompts to install on your computer. Once installed, it will automatically open. You can pin to the taskbar for future convenience. Now we'll open and run Epson Edge. If you're connecting through Ethernet, you will set up an IP address. You can go to Network Settings on your printer and find your assigned IP address. Change it from Auto to Manual. Once you change your network settings on the printer, you'll go into your computer printer settings, printers and scanners, and find the driver. Click on the F2270 printer. Click on Printer Properties. Here you will see your port settings and you will check the designated IP address. Once loaded, go to the Epson dashboard. Open the top left menu and click on Printer Registration. Click Add Search and it will find the printer. Now go to Garment Creator. You will know you're connected to the printer when it says Standby. This is the Garment Creator interface. On the left side is the Image Preview. The interface is similar to Garment Creator 1 with some differences. We'll go over those differences in settings. Go to Image Preview on the left side where you will load the design. It is currently set to a 14 by 16 platen. Go to File and load an image. Once the image is loaded, you can easily resize and move the image within the print area. Here we have the background image as a black shirt. Changing the shirt color can help you visualize how the print will look. On the right side you have three tabs, Print Settings, Layout Settings, and Color Replacement. In the Print Settings tab, you have shirt color presets such as black, dark, and white shirts. The next tab is Layout Settings where you can change both platen size and placement settings. The next tab is the Color Replacement tab for changing colors within the image. The Calculator icon is the Ink Cost Estimator. Set up by clicking on the menu next to the Local Settings and select New Preset and Type in USD Currency. Leave Coefficient as 1. Press OK. Follow the same process for ink cost. Select New Preset. Type ink cost of $275 per bag with capacity of ink bag set at 800 milliliters. Press OK. Now you will see the cost, capacity, and cost per milliliter. Below that, you can add other costs like pretreatment or film. Click on New Preset and add the cost of powder, shirt, pretreatment, etc. Then click Estimate Job. Add in multiple images by clicking Edit Multi Image, and you can add text here as well. At the bottom right, you have an Add Image icon where you can add in multiple images. You can edit each image separately between height, scale, and rotation. At the bottom right, you can add text as well. 
A text bar will pop up and you can type your text and edit the font, font size, style, color, position, etc. Then press OK and it becomes one image ready to print. Some differences in Garment Creator 2 are the output resolutions. If you look at the white print quality and the color print quality, you have different quality settings coming out of the printer. You have control to customize your settings and see the output resolution as you change your settings. The ink density settings are different. You now have control over the highlight white and it gives you more control over the dot size. You have more color management profiles built within. One huge difference is the DTF film setting built within Garment Creator. At the top, you will see the option to choose DTG or DTF. When you click on film settings, you'll notice the shirt background is now replaced with a film background. You'll see differences in the print settings. There's now a film standard and film white preset. Under print quality, there are three levels. You'll still need to set your ink density settings, but there is now more control. At Equipment Zone, we found bringing down white top density and white base down to negative 50 and printing on a level 3 quality gives great results. When your print is ready to print, go to the bottom left and change how many copies you wish to print and then press print. For more information on the Epson F2270 printer, contact Equipment Zone at equipmentzone.com or 201-797-1504.